Sundar Srivastav is a young graduate. His main ambition in life is to fulfill his father's dream of starting a school on his half-acre property in his village. Though he has no funds to execute his plans. Sundar's childhood friend Prem, a seasoned conman in Mumbai, convinces the gullible Sundar to a mortgage. When Sundar comes to Mumbai, he is first tricked and loses his luggage. Then pickpocketed and loses his money. He then finds that Prem tricked him and fled to Dubai with his money. Sundar is forced to take shelter in a cemetery. Sundar starts cursing his stars and venting his anger. A voice responds to him and a surprise Sundar asks the person to identify himself. The source of the voice, who cannot be seen, is surprised that Sundar is able to hear him. He then asks Sundar whether the latter can really hear him. Sundar realizes that he has been talking with a ghost and panics. The ghost suddenly becomes visible to Sundar and introduces himself as Amar Kumar aka Mako. Mako tells Sundar that only he can help Sundar. And since Sundar is the only one that can hear, see him. Only Sundar can help Mako. Mako then tells Sundar his sad tale. Mako was an underworld gangster who fell in love with Savatri Kaul. Daughter of Mr. Kaul. Savatri refused Mako's efforts to marry her unless he changed his ways. To show that he was serious. Marco resolved to give up his life of crime. This did not bode well for his protege Kunta, who wanted to become as big as Marco himself. On his wedding night, Marco was kidnapped and killed by Kunta, after which he was buried in the cemetery. After revealing his past to Sundar, Marco discloses to him that many crimes taking place in the city under his name are actually done by Kunta and his minions. Marco tells Sundar that due to his sins, he cannot attain redemption and go to heaven. Marco was foretold by God that only his Savior would be able to see and hear him, making Sundar the chosen one to help him. Sundar, frightened, refuses to help, but Marco unexpectedly reminds him about his dream of building a school, which Sundar never revealed to Marco. Marco's reminder persuades Sundar to help Marco. As long as Marco keeps his end of the bargain, Marco tells him that he wants to see Savitri and Mr. Call. He reveals to Sundar that he cannot touch or harm anybody until the time is right. Marco manages to get Sundar a position as a cricket coach in Mr. Call's school. Marco soon becomes angered and devastated when he finds out that after his murder, Kunta and his goons went to the call household and told Savitri that Marco was alive and well, had fled to India forever, and used Savitri to sleep with her. Kunta had told Savitri and her father that Marco wanted them to hand over the ownership documents for his hotel to Kunta, which Savitri was in possession of. But Savitri refused to hand them over unless Marco himself came back to ask for them. Kunta, furious, then tried to rape Savitri, but was stopped when her father broke down in tears, promising to give them the documents. Hearing all of this, Marco became furious and vows revenge. He is grieved to learn that Savitri died soon after that, but quickly becomes overjoyed when he learns that he has a daughter with Savitri named Mala. Uddharan Chene Sundar and Marco also find out that the school lacks funding and that Kunta is trying to usurp its land. With the aid and assistance of Marco, Mala and Sundar soon start falling in love. Marco uses his ghost-like abilities to keep Kunta's goons from meddling in Mala and Sundar's affairs. Later, Marco shows a secret room to Sundar where he had kept all his loot. The room was not known to Kunta or anybody else. So Marco proposes that the two of them make an anonymous donation. Saving the school. And leaving enough money to help Sundar with his dream. However, due to their oversight, Kunta finds out the location of the room. And Marco's money is quickly stolen and used for evil activists. Marco, in a one-liner, refers to Kunta as Wo Kunta Sala.
that rogue Kunta, in a desperate bid to regain the lost money. Marco steals some money and bets to double the money. Sundar is held responsible for the theft. Although no proof is present, Marco, hoping to solve this unfortunate event, tells the truth to Sundar about stealing the money, causing them to have an argument. Uddharan. Sundar agrees to a cricket match between his team and a team headed by Kunta's nephew. It is decided that if Sundar's team wins the game, they will win the funds to keep the school. Initially, Sundar's team is losing, but Marco then steps into the game. Still invisible to everyone, sabotages the opponent team and helps lead Sundar's team to a giant victory. Uddharan Chinne Although everything seems to be going well, Sundar accidentally slips up and reveals to I.G. Tripathi, the inspector who investigated Marco's life, the truth about Marco's ghost returning. Additionally, Sundar has a conversation with Kunta before the match and mentions Marco's ghost, causing Kunta to become extremely suspicious. During the match, Kunta abducts Sundar and Mala and attempts buries them alive in the very place he had buried Marco. Marco manages to lead the police to the cemetery to save Sundar and Mala. Where Kunta and his goons fight against Marco, Mala, Sundar and the police. After succeeding in beating up the goons, Marco starts to strangle Kunta with a rope while Sundar forces Kunta to confess his role in Marco's murder. Marco then pushes Kunta into the empty grave and as he is about to kill him with a large rock, Mala calls out for him to stop, calling him, father, and entreating not to kill and sully his hands with blood because of Kunta. On hearing this, Marco immediately relents and lets Kunta live. Uddharan. Finally, Sundar succeeds in his mission of redeeming Marco's name. Sundar and Mala get married. With Marco attending the wedding. At the wedding, a ray of light falls upon Marco who then ascends to heaven. Although not before asking for, a minute, to entreat the viewer to do the right thing while they are alive. Because they may not have the chance to set things right after death. Uddharan.